What is up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. Doing something special. I'm at the haunted Winchester mystery house. There's my friend Susan. She's showing us around. If you came from my previous videos, I mentioned that I was going to do a special video, a dedicated video here in the seance room. Now, if you know you don't know any of the history, maybe you missed out on the very first videos if you didn't know uh, Sarah Winchester, which was the owner of this magnificent home. She used to communicate with spirits. So the tale says in this room, every night at midnight, there was a bell that was rung to call in spirits. And she, where would she just hang out? Would it be there? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if it'd be and right just, there in the middle or... Okay. And how long would it take, like a seance? Well, the, the rumors are that the bell was rung at midnight and then 2 a.m. Okay. Presumably to summon the spirits and then release them again. So they would ring the bell before and after, and the bell after would send the spirits away, so they say. And she would do that every single day because there was ongoing construction 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. I mean, it was just ongoing construction, and she would get plans, and she would say that the spirits would talk to her for the next day of like what they needed to do. And I guess that was to keep the spirits happy so she would no longer be haunted anymore. And um, Susan has her own take on that. She believes that she was adding on to this house because of her grief. You know, she lost a lot of people in a short amount of time, people that were dear to her, people that were close to her, people that she loved. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time here. I did bring a spirit box. Oh wow, that came on all by itself. Yeah, it did. So this has been recording for an hour and 37 minutes, and I did mention that on my previous video. I also did an uncut video down in the basement. So this video is gonna be uncut. Being that we're running out of time, I'm gonna include this along with the most haunted part, so they say, of the, ha the haunted Winchester Mystery House, and that's the third floor. And there's a rumor, I'm not sure if it's accurate or not, that there's workers that won't even go up there after a certain time of day. There's certain tour guides that don't. Like they won't go up there. And then there's a witch. Which is cat. There were some. To, uh, there's tours that go in there, and there's some tour guides that even go in the room. I never had a problem, but there's people who wouldn't go in the room. I have to say, okay, Susan, she's fearless. Okay, like we. <laughs> there's been in certain areas of the house where I'm, I'm kind of, kind of weary of going in, and she's like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> you know, she's going. I mean, there's people that work here, and she, that's how comfortable she is here. So if you're going to come visit the haunted mystery house, the Winchester mystery house, ask for Susan. Maybe Jake. Too. I, I don't know. Susan, she, she's got a lot of she's got a lot of information on this place and some great personal stories. So um, right away, I noticed that there's a couple doors here, mm -hmm. and oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> All right, so we have to push this button every once in a while, and I think it, it turns off for about five minutes or so. I'm not sure how good of footage that I caught or recordings because this probably turned on a few times, but I'm sure there's going to be something in between that that's just out of the ordinary. But this is, it's not, it sounds like sand or something, or like wind blowing. Kind of, I, I feel like, I think of the desert, but um, not far from this room in my first video, I was walking through this hallway around the corner. And that sound was playing, and I thought I heard a hiss. I'm not 100% sure if it was connected to that. Maybe it was, maybe not. But I don't know. So, uh, what's. Is this like a storage room? Mm -hmm. It's a closet. Go ahead and open that. Okay, yeah, this is where you hang a couple, couple nightgowns. Mm hmm. There's a story there were robes in there. Robes. But I'm, I, again, I don't know. That's the story though. Now Sarah, from what I hear, she would spend a great deal of time in here with a Ouija board. Was it a possible. Ouija board? Quite possible. Those are popular. And she would try to communicate with her late husband in this room. Now, was it maybe her late husband that was giving her these instructions on what to build? You know how to build it? Was it a demon? Was it ghosts? Who knows? You know? Probably not a demon. <laughs> yeah, it's not a demon. I haven't felt any kind of evil here. I mean, it's just. Do you want to see what's in here? Mm-hmm. Just 
secret passageway. A secret passageway? Do you want to go through it? Can I? Yeah. Oh, what's this? Just in watch your step in your hand. Oh, cool. Wait, I, I don't know why, but I thought there was going to be some stairs right there. Yeah, but if you open that door... Yeah. Oh, and there's a stairway right there. Mm-hmm. That's the stairway we'll be using to go upstairs. What about, what is that? There's offices. They were bedrooms, though. Okay. I believe they were bedrooms, and this was a dressing room for those. How many bedrooms total are in here? 40 bedrooms. 40 bedrooms. Now, I made quite a bit of uh, footage, you know, out of my time here, but there's a lot that I have not seen that I probably won't see. So I encourage you, come check this place out. I mean, this place just goes on forever. I mean, you don't want to be in here by... Do you, do you let people wander out? I mean, you, it would, wouldn't be good. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> It wouldn't be good, honestly. It would be for your own mental, I don't know. Like, you don't want to be walking around the Winchester house by yourself. I mean, there was a couple times, when you walked away, I freaked out. Like, when you had to go talking to that, I mean, I was with Joey, but I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> so those are offices? Mm -hmm. there. There they were bedrooms, though. So in... Did you want to get your stuff from the seance room, or do you want to? I want to do a quick spirit box session. Sure. And then we're going to go up to the third floor. We're just going to include it into this video. I was going to do a separate video, but we're going to... just going to make this a longer video. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> All right. One thing I have not done in the first video or the second video was a spirit box. Oh, you want to, I'm going to close these to this door. What's this? That door leads into a kitchen. Same. Is this like an old chute or something? Like a laundry chute? No, not really quite sure what it was. Unless it was just supposed to be a door that people, if they were in here and they weren't supposed to, and they opened the wrong door, they're going to fall into a sink. Okay, so this could have been... One of the designs that she was inspired to do by one of the ghosts, for whatever reason. Now, I'm not sure how great my spirit box is going to work in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, I'm going to sit you right there. Okay. <laughs> She's trying to make it where that wind noise doesn't come back. Back on. Um, my antenna is like stuck down there. I can't get it out. Okay, I think it is still work though. By the way, just throwing this out there, I barely use any ghost hunting equipment. But if if I wanted to, like this would be one of the best places to use it. I mean, I, I this is a PS. B11, uh, it's a spirit, it's actually two spirit boxes in one, and the way this works is it pans through a series of different radio frequencies, and you communicate with, with spirits, and they answer you back using, like, radio stations. Um, this is using two. This is, in my opinion, one of the most trusted devices, um, along with, um, there's, there's one, I forgot the name of it. Do you know the name of it? I'm not sure. It's the single spirit box. And it's used by very like a, a lot of paranormal investigators, including my friend Patty. Uh, a lot of I think Ghost Adventures uses one too. I mean, a lot of different paranormal investigators use them. But um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and see if we can make communication with whatever spirit Sarah used to talk with. So we're almost on that time that she would be in here. It's twelve. It's already twelve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if Sarah was alive today, 
she would be in here right now. There'd be a bell sounding out. Well, around 12, that bell could call in. Do you have a little bell on here? Wait, you did that? Why did you tell me? You should have just freaked me out. That, that was great. Okay. All right. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> All right. a lot. I mean, I don't use them a lot in videos, but I have gone on my own personal paranormal investigations using spirit boxes, and I've used this spirit box quite a bit. I have never, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe there's just a lot of radio frequencies in the air here, but I've never heard that much action. I mean, it was almost like too much where I couldn't understand anything. I mean, you... Yeah, no, I was... She hears spirit boxes all the time. That so, was crazy. That was it was crazy. just a lot of, I don't know, I'm going to I'm gonna go back. I, you know, since this is kind of a raw, like, unedited type video, uncut, I'm, I'm not going to put any subtitles to whatever I heard. I'm just going to let you kind of think about it yourself, and, and maybe you could listen to things that was, when, maybe when I would ask questions, and let me know here in the comments what you think was being said. I mean, especially, I, I would love to go back and hear when I ask the question, you know, if you can add on any more to this house, like, I mean, because the, the spirits were, I mean, according to the legends, the spirits were telling Sarah every night, like, how to build this house and to, to keep the spirits happy or to keep them confused or whatever the case, so then she's not cursed anymore. And, I mean, were the spirits mad when she passed away? You know, that were left in this house, you know, and the day she stopped, I mean, it's, the house is still haunted till this day. It's, it's haunted, but I mean, not in a weird way or not in an evil way, uh, but I don't know. Maybe the spirits are happy here. I think so. It's a nice place to be. Yeah, I don't got, you know what? I mean, it's scary to some who, I mean, like me, it's my first time here. So, of course, you're scared of the unknown, but the few hours that I have been spending here, I haven't got any kind of vibes where... Like, I was just like, oh my gosh, I got to get out of here. Like, I don't feel good. Um, when I've been to some really, really scary places where I felt evil, 
there's something that I feel right in the front of my head right here that is just like, I, I don't know what it is, but it's almost like a pressure. And it's like, you know, it's maybe it's some kind of safety mechanism built within me. And it's like, yo, you need to get out wherever you're at. Like it's, there's evil there. And I haven't felt that here. You know, my, my scary vibes have just been because I'm just scared of the house itself. And, you know, it's just kind of new, but, um, maybe it, Susan helps me, honestly. I, <laughs> like just being around her, she's got a good vibe. You know, if you were here by yourself, you'd probably be scared. And, you know, you, the mind plays tricks on you, of course. But anyways, we're gonna make our way to the third floor. This is the most haunted floor. You know, I'm here like talking about peace and like, you know, hey, everything's cool. We're gonna go up there and probably run into something really scary. <laughs> so keep your eyes and ears open. This is gonna be fun. Do you want to go back through here, or do you want to go out the regular door? Oh, we can go that way? Yeah. Yeah, let's go this way. I don't want to go back that way. <laughs> Is that... I'm kidding. I oh, just... That's not your switch. Well, oh, that's Joey's. Okay. Um, just watch it. They're going to come back here, I think. Jake's going to bring them. I keep thinking I have to go this way. But... <laughs> this way now. What's that? I, I was gonna say that was me closing the door. Okay. So up to the third floor, do you want to go to the ha most haunted room first? Sure, why not? <laughs> what a treat. What's over there? Wait, were we up here before? Mm hmm. Yep, that's the North Conservatory right there. We walked through there to go up and over the stairs to where I got touched. Okay, that's right, right, right. We're not far from where Joey got touched. Yeah, right. well, he was right outside the sand trip, between her bedroom and the sand trip. Okay. So this is the servant's area up here. So they had almost like their, their own house up here, huh? Mm -hmm. It wasn't as fancy as down below. Right here. Oh, look at that tub. Oh, How yeah, beautiful. Oh. Wow. <laughs> She's like, it's not as fancy. Right, that's pretty fit. Wait, was that here? Yeah. That's yeah. original. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Yeah, they're not moving this. This is probably. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. That's like cast iron, huh? Yeah. It's beautiful, though. Oh, it's Just the, the little detail, like if you look in the hinges. Ooh, look at that. And this is the servant's area. I've never seen hinges like that. So they're just beautiful. But over here, this is the most haunted room. I've never had it. What's that? Are they up here? They shouldn't be. Wait, up, what's up here? Fourth floor. Are they up here? I doubt it. No, because I think they were down in the ballroom. They were probably going down to the basement. Okay. So they're on the other end of the house. So this is the most haunted room. I've never had a bad feeling in here. Why is it people, the most haunted room? I don't know. It's called that. But there's people who sometimes I think if they're not as respectful for the house, that they sometimes get a bad feeling in here. But I was uh, training a new tour guide, and I brought him in here and told him it was the most haunted room, which he didn't, he was like, oh no, and all of a sudden I, I saw him twitch like that, and he said, mm -hmm. I said, something just touched you, didn't it? No, no, no. <laughs> but he tells his story on his tour, that he does not like this room. So he won't even come in here. Mm -hmm. And I've never felt bad in here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Something touched my finger. Something touched my finger right now. Something touched my finger. Okay. It could, I mean, I don't know. It maybe, is there a leak up here? No, but that's about right where he was standing when he got touched. Oh, okay. She tells me now. <laughs> and I mean, he was like right here and felt something touch his shoulder. Okay, something touched my finger, 100%. It was like a, let me show you it. It was like a, it was my middle finger. It was like a, like that. Really? 
Huh. It felt like a, almost felt like a raindrop. Yeah, there's no leaks. What about these? These right here. The pipes? Yeah. Yeah, no, those are just the sprinklers. That, they were put in in 1949. I don't see no water. It felt like a, like a water drop. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. And then don't know why this room would be most haunted, but this apparently seems to be the room that affects a lot of people the most. But there's other yeah. areas we'll go to. <laughs> Let's ask. Okay. Why is this the most haunted room in the Winchester Mystery House? Who touched me? I said I did or something like that, like Jeff. Who's Jeff? Are you evil? Answer the question. Are you evil? Okay, I'm not sure if I heard that correctly, but I'm pretty sure I heard the name Jeff. Yeah, I heard I did. Okay, so... When you heard, said who touched me, and I yeah. thought I heard I did. Wow. Well, so, I mean, we got we got a little bit of... Did you hear answers. a woman's voice and a man's voice? I mean, I, I only heard a man's voice, but I mean, I'll have to go back and listen. Every now and then you hear a woman's voice. I feel like there's somebody peeking right around that whatever right closet. Here? The closet? Oh, no. Is that, are you in there, Jeff? It's a strange room. Mm-hmm. Whoa. So we don't know why this room no idea. is haunted, but it's the most haunted room in the win and it's like the dingiest looking room in the Winchester house. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know a few people died here on the estate besides Sarah. Like her sister Estelle died here. Um, but I don't know. In this was, room? I don't know. I don't know. I would not think she would be in this room. But I don't know. I know her chauffeur or her um, coachman, Frank Carroll, died. He died when they were down here. But he, she paid for his funeral and he was buried down the street. And then her head gardener, Tommy, died here on the estate shortly after she died of natural causes. Wow. And he was very dedicated to her. But I think you'd get nothing but happiness and kindness from him because she was so kind to him. Well, I would imagine that the people that Sarah hired as servants or people that work here were people that she, I mean, I mean if you ever met somebody who's really wealthy, it's hard for them to trust people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, when they build relationships with people and they trust them, it's like a relationship for life. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm sure that people that live any, anywhere in this house, maybe people came and went too, because there could you know, be a few. This was a really good job to have though. They, oh they lived here. Um, they got she, to live here, yeah. Yeah, she paid them twice to go and wait. Um, food. I heard it was three times. It depended. Some some earned up to ten dollars a day. Most the high, most highly skilled workers. Mm -hmm. The average was three dollars a day. And the average um, 
wage at that time was a dollar fifty a day. But then their their rent is paid for. They, they live here. Their food, their board, everything is provided. That's pretty. Um, that's a pretty awesome gig there. It is, and mm. the thing is, she demanded hard work. Mm. Um, so if you were if you came in and you were a slacker, chances are you wouldn't last long. But I don't know why there was a light on out there and it just suddenly went out. There's somebody out there. No, it was a light, but I think there's one of our lights has a short in it. Maybe one of the lights outside. Um, motion okay. sensor on. But she, um, she just, she wanted you to work hard. And if you worked hard, you were treated very well. And she compensated them. She left money for them in their will. Do you want to go to the servant's car and then the witch's yeah. cap? Yeah, sure. Right. Now, what's the story on the witch's cap? Like, what's the witch's cap? It's just made more based on its shape. Let's pull that door. Um, but a lot of people, and I think some people say they get a lot of spiritual energy there. Um, my thought, I mean, that's quite possible, mm -hmm. but it's also the way it's shaped and the way it sounds in there. Okay. It's quite strange. Oh, check this out. Look at this tub. Yeah. How cool is that? This really is like a maze, like there's tons of hallways and... I did hear something. Yeah, I did too. What was that ghost name again? Jake? Jake. Or Jake? Oh, Jeff. Jeff. Jake. Oh, I'm thinking of the other, your friend, Jake. Oh, yeah, Jake. But Jeff was the one who you got in the spirit right. box. Jeff, don't follow me. <gasps> What's up there? It's the fourth floor. Why, that's, there's another way up the fourth floor? Uh, this way and back down by the um, most haunted room. You mind if I take a peek? No, go ahead. You up here, Jeff? Oh, oh, wow, oh, wow. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go up here. That was weird. Why? I don't know, I just felt like a force field or something. There's people that uh, pushed on the stairs. Okay, more people that, that worked here, but... Alright, I'm still gonna go. If you don't want me here, you could make a clear noise that I could hear. And I'll leave you alone. But don't push me down the stairs, I don't want to get hurt. I need to go back home to Florida. Oh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. So what would they do up here? One of the things that's really nice up here too is right out here. It's just a really pretty view. Nothing spooky, but it's really pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, check this out. Look at that. Yep, yeah, there's the bell tower. Next to her bedroom, there's the only flying buttress in the house. <laughs> the only flying what? Buttress. What's a buttress? So, Notre Dame, uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. Uh -huh. It was known for its flying buttresses, which are the... Um, see that curved 
piece coming oh, off of yes, it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. support it. So that's a flying buttress. That's the only one in the house. Nice. Now, it just keeps going that way, the house, huh? Yeah. Right over there. And then it comes over here, the carriage house. Um, now, down here, you can see her pump house. She had a garage right there. Uh -huh. And she owned a 1909 green Renault and a gray Pierce Arrow limousine with lavender pinstripes. She was fancy. Yep. Wow. It was a 1917 Pierce Arrow. You think she wore Gucci? <laughs> I don't think there was Gucci around yet. <laughs> well, they say that all she wore was black in her final years. Um, really? Yeah, really since William died because that was Queen uh, Victoria did that when Prince Albert died. She went into permanent mourning for the rest of her life. Mm. So yeah. she never remarried or tried to date anyone? Mm -hmm. No. Wow. She just went into... She also followed that custom of going into permanent mourning and wow. wearing uh, black the rest of her life. Wow. Well, the only picture that I've seen of her, I think she was wearing all black. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Do you want to go down to the servants' call room? Yeah. It's, I'm, it's I'm sorry. Here. No, it's okay. Uh, thank you for bringing me up here. Oh, you're welcome. That was really strange, though. It, it, it was, was almost like I... She said that supposedly some workers have been pushed down them stairs before. Well, they've been pushed back. Pushed <laughs> back. Have, yeah, like they haven't... I mean, I don't... Maybe that's... It almost felt like there was an invisible force field. Like it was... Some, it was somebody saying no. And I lost my balance for a second. Like it was mm -hmm. it's like, oh, what's going on here? But, um, I don't know. It's maybe why I usually run up them really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's nothing evil here, but I will be saying a prayer when I leave. Just saying. I, I have a history of things following me back home. And have Has anything followed people back home? Uh, my husband says that he thinks there's things that have followed me home because the doors will slam. I think it's just the breeze, but... Oh. He's like, well, you tell them to stop following you home. Oh, that's funny. Be real careful coming down because the narrow street. Oh. What's that? I don't know. Did you see something? No, I heard something. And my battery's getting ready to die. Okay. Well, be real careful. Okay. Thank you for not pushing me down down the stairs. Please don't follow me back home. Here. I could not be here by myself. I mean, I, I don't get any bad I vibes. I go really fast. <laughs> These stairs are so weird, too. Mm -hmm. Like, they're only, I don't know, like three inches in length. I mean, well, she had crippling arthritis, so stairs like these, she could still move through the house. But okay. these are very narrow. So, I don't know how often she would have used that to go up to the fourth floor. Um, I'm going to quickly change out my battery, because my battery is getting ready to die. I know that there's uh, about 10 minutes here. Uh, so, you're going to see another cut. I know I said uncut, but of course, there's things that I can't control, like a battery dying. So, hang on one second. I reached this spot and I heard somebody walking down this hallway and I thought it was a tour guide coming to talk to me. So I waited for them and nobody showed up. And then I heard that we'd had a window break overhead that day and I started hearing it sounded like glass being swept up. Oh wow. There it wasn't. There was so what there. is this called here? This is the servant's call room. Servant's call room. Mm hmm So is this where they would get called? Yeah, this is um it's right next let me see if this this key. Maybe like a waiting area? Like what exactly is the purpose of a servant's call room? Okay, so, oh crud. Well, they don't want us to come in. Well, now this key has been in this lock. And this is new. Because, there we go. Okay. So it won't let me, it won't let us in. It broke a key the other day. But if we come... I just thought I heard something. That wasn't much of that. Okay. Um, so that's where the servant's parlor was on the other side of that door. I keep, oh gosh. What's the matter? There's something above us. 
I don't know. I just heard something above us. I just heard something over there. There shouldn't be anything above us because there's really nothing up there. Now, um, I don't know if this is strange. Maybe, I mean, maybe other people have reported this, but more in shorts. Uh, it have to be guys or maybe women that don't like to shave their legs. But I, I feel like something's grabbing my leg hairs and pulling them. Really? Mm -hmm. That's... On my left leg. Like I can feel my, my leg hairs just... It's, it's almost like they're it's just doing this. It's not hurting. It doesn't hurt. It's just like it's like a slight pull. Well, and it's happened on every floor that we've been on, and I just I just kind of ignore it. I'm just like oh, it's wind. But when I heard that noise, it was really distinct, and it opened my eyes to like this is real. Like there's something pulling my leg hairs, but it's not hurting me. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Just trying to get my attention. It's like fresh meat. It's like fresh meat. Well, it said that the third floor, the servants that lived up here would have been the women. Oh, okay. So. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So, I'm sorry. I'm taking. Uh, uh, this is, by the way, an engagement ring, okay? But I'm gonna, I am going to wear it. I mean, it wasn't fair to my fiance. I put a ring on her finger. She's like, hey, you're going to wear a ring too, okay? <laughs> What's in here? This is this like a shower or a sauna or something? Um, it's just a sink. You oh, can see right sink. through a window here. Oh, oh, cool. And then a wash up area. Okay. I think there was, there was a bathroom, but I think it's a floor down through there. Oh, oh. But over here. I have no idea what I just showed you. This is really big. Like, it just goes on forever. Now, were they constantly adding on to the, the third floor as well? Mm, probably not as much. I mean, at first, yeah, these might have been planned to be sweets for her sisters. Um, but then I think it became just more of a servant's area. Okay. Definitely be careful of these. There was one night um, I nearly drained myself on one of these. Oh yeah. Is that why there's little guards on them? Like so? They're... Well, yes. Though they still hurt when you run into them. Oh, okay. But this is the witch's cap. Oh, nice. Now, my friend Julie Official was saying something about this room. The witch's cap? Yeah. He said that he came in here and something happened and he didn't want to come back. There were some tour guides that won't come in here. Oh, so I, again, I have this is another one of those rooms? Yeah, this is the one I told you that people feel this might be a spirit box room. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is that if you stand right here where I'm standing, your voice travels up and bounces back at you. So it's a... Um, it sounds like you're, if you've ever talked into a paper towel tube, and it's just right there in the center that you get it. Mm. You don't get it, like right here, I'm not getting it. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Move, Hello? Move into the center. There. Hello? Hello? Oh, wow. Uh -huh. <gasps> That's so cool. It's It like changed. This like from here to here is a, it's uh -huh. a huge difference. Hey there. Hey there. It's some kind of sound traveling yeah, tunnel it just has to do with the construction it's a normal that's a normal scientific concept but it is i think it's very um it's not confusing but it definitely throws people off when they come across that why is this called the witches the shape oh because of the shape mm -hmm. okay Thanks for clarifying that. I'm here thinking, like, was there a witch up here or no, something? No, no, no. It's just the shape. It, Maybe it they hung a witch from up there? It's a typical shape for um, in a Victorian home in a Queen Anne. Okay. Interesting. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention in my very first video, and it was... Uh, I don't know why I didn't mention it, but I did mention it to Susan. She was walking me back out because I forgot my spirit box in the car. And there's this giant mirror. In fact, um, I don't know if I'll have time to show it to you, but is that the main entrance? Is no, that, that's not, okay. just more... It's a side entrance? Yeah, it's a side entrance. It's an informal entrance, but as I was walking through there, I seen this mirror to the side, and 
I had to do a double take and when I did and I, I seen what I seen but I kind of ignored it and then when I walked outside I'm like I cannot believe I just seen that as I was kind of jogging past this giant mirror I seen two of me and as I was looking at these mirrors right here too I was trying to see if I would see two of me again um, but I but I didn't but I don't know let's look again well, you let me know maybe you'll see two of you in that mirror but I thought that was so cool and very scary at the same time too there was there was two of me all right that's really cool that's like a, a makeup mirror or something I, yeah it does look kind of like a vanity mm -hmm. Can I sit here? Is it safe? Um, you can you can sit down. I don't know how safe it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, would it be safer to sit there? Uh, usually I think they're more they're antiques, so usually we don't sit down. <laughs> but if you, I'm want gonna to sit on the floor. <laughs> right in the in the which is uh, right in the middle. Yeah, right in the middle where I hear the hello, 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 hello. hello. Right here, right here. That's so cool. So cool, so cool, so cool. I do that on tour. I walk in backwards going here, 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 until here, I Here, 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 here. Okay. It's like so distinct too. Hello, 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 hello. I lost it. Hello, hello, hello. That sounds weird. I just got a splinter in my booty. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Ow, ow, I really did. Yeah, there's unfortunately, it's unfinished. This is cool, it's like an attic space. Mm -hmm. I have an attic in my old house in New York. It's a real creepy old house. And they, does this house move like when, when it, wind hits it? Mm -hmm. Not as much because it's so big. Okay, that makes sense. What is that? It sounds like wind. As we're talking about wind, get that. Sprinklers. Okay. That window is open. That was, that was kind of strange. It was. Yeah, it's like we're talking about wind and then we started hearing wind, but they're sprinklers. So, all right. Let's see if Jeff wants to say the little again. Hello? Are you here with us tonight? Hello? This is a really unique room. Is Jeff here with us? Who keeps pulling on my leg hairs? Not getting much up here. Yeah. But there's one of our tour guides who won't come in here had a ponytail and she was on tour and her ponytail started to look up to the side. Oh, it's starting to get some now. Who was it that pulled the ponytail? That's right here, I think. Okay. I feel like if I talk, things come through. When there's dead silence, like nothing. Rick? Or correct? Or something like that? Who was trying to push me down the stairs?
I hope you're not mad I'm here. I'm not here to disrespect. I love this place. I'll definitely come back. You promise not to follow me back home? I have children. Please don't follow me back home. Just stay here. And whatever keeps following Susan home, bring them back here too. Unless you like them. I don't think they do. I think it's just the dreams. I don't think your husband really likes them, like she said. That was a handful of stuff, but I don't know. It was kind of silent for a little bit. Yeah. All right. Uh, there was a lot to see up here. Yeah. This is really cool. Now, is this stuff that was a part of the house at one point that was left here? Um, no. This is just stuff that's been collected by the historian. Okay. Um, I have an interesting question, and I, I'm, I'm sure you've been asked this a lot. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you don't have to answer if... I mean, maybe you could have your, maybe you have your own opinion on this. Mm -hmm. If they were to sell this place, what, what do you think its value would be at today? Oh, Lord. I, due to the historic value of it, it's, it's pretty priceless. I would say in the building. And it's very popular now. It's like, very popular. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> Oddly enough, I've heard that we do get calls from realtors or mm -hmm. from developers asking when we're going to relocate because they want the land. Just so the land itself? Just the land itself. If you look across the row, um, across the street, we have Santana Row. Why which would is, they even ask such a dumb question? It is. Because it's not like you can pick this up and put it somewhere else. I mean... No, but they want the land for high-rises. They want the land for office space and shopping space. Um, this yeah. is what made the land around it popular, yeah. though. I mean, why take the best part? It's like the heart. If, if you take this out, I mean, everything around it's going to die. Yeah. And I think just, I mean, so much has been put into it. Yeah. And so much um, in recent years, especially, they've really done so much to restore it and do everything we can to take very loving care of it that... I mean, it, it would, would have, have to be, to be this, in the billions. Oh, the, I, I would agree. I, I want to know here in the comments, what do you think this, I mean, uh, $100,000? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I would buy it. I mean, uh, 1923 or 1922 cost. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, wow. I, I wish I was around then and, and invested in this, but I mean, this place is a, this is a timepiece. I mean, this is, this is a diamond. 100%. Mm -hmm. It could never be just, I would be just really Just like the upset. coal in your pocket. Just like the coal in my pocket. Uh, on the second video that I made here, I <laughs> took a piece of coal and I said that I was going to keep it until it became a diamond. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be possible, but uh, <laughs> this is definitely flourished into a diamond. And I mean, it was, it was like that for a, a long time. The last hundred years, it's always been what it is. And they've done a great job keeping it that way and mm -hmm. keeping it safe. Um, I really hope someone doesn't give in and make that crucial mistake. I of, don't think they ever will. Yeah. I mean, the the land itself is, is worth that much money. I don't know. I could see this place being cursed or something. Uh, the land around it. I mean, could you imagine that? But oh, anyways. What? She owned 161 acres. So most of the land that's She did sell on, some of it. Oh, yeah. The okay. land that was sold off. And that we're now only on four and a half acres. That's a lot for. Yeah. Okay, they're they're calling us. We're here. We're coming. We're coming. What's up, guys? How's it going? So we know what haunts that one room. Which yeah. Room? The the most haunted room here at the Winchester Mystery What's House. That? I turn my I turn my spirit box on and I ask who haunts this room and very clear. It said, it, I think it said, I do, and then right after it said, Jeff. So there's a spirit by the name of Jeff. That's cool. And when I went up to the fourth floor, 
I legit felt like a force field. It was almost like I started walking up the stairs and I almost felt like something was trying to push me. Hmm. And she told me that people have been pushed down the stairs here. Well, not really damn. Not pushed, but like pushed back. 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 Not hurt. Okay. That's crazy because we were in the basement. First Mm -hmm. of all, I uh, I had them lock me by myself in the basement for a total of five minutes. Okay. With night vision only filming and I had them lock the basement. I think I'm the only person that's ever done that here, which is cool. And I filmed, I filmed, I filmed, and then they came back downstairs. I turned on the night vision. We're doing a spirit box reading where the wheelbarrow ghost is, supposedly. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was telling me about that. Asked, like, who's here right now? And you can, what did, what did it say? Joey, what did it say? What did it say? It said, it said something wheelbarrow. Because something wheelbarrow. Because wheelbarrow. Wheel, like, wheelbarrow. Why are you here or something like that? It's like, because wheelbarrow. Something like that. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, on camera. Clear, clear, like, clear, clear, clear. Wow, that's super cool. It said Joey cool. twice. It said my name twice. Yeah. It said, it said Joey twice? Yeah, Joey twice. Oh wow! We got so much on camera in this place. You sure it wasn't oh. saying Jeff? <laughs> in the door. In the door. The door situation. Oh, my door. oh. No, we left Sarah. Yeah. Okay, I was the first one out of there, so I don't know what happened. But we were leaving Sarah's room. I had the camera rolling, and then the door slammed behind us. Like not not much really happened in there until we left. Yeah. And as soon as we walk out, Joey was the last one to, to walk out, and the door just slammed. Oh, yeah. that's a get out. You know yeah. where? That's the exact same. <laughs> they don't like you guys. <laughs> that's the hallway where yeah. I got touched. Was it? Oh, yeah, that hallway. Yeah. yeah. I got touched. Omar, you were with him when he got touched. Like, yeah, I would, bro. He was, yo. You could bro, see it. I, I, it broke. He, my light broke. Like a few minutes went by, and he was still like. He was like, uh, I his face sweater. was like this. I got my sweater. I was like, I where we've been going. He's like, oh man, don't leave me alone. You were about three shades paler. Yeah, he was oh, super yeah. pale. Yeah. Yeah. And you were sweaty too. You and were then like, very... just right now, Mo just caught on his night vision camera. <gasps> oh, I caught that door slam. He caught a door slamming. So uh, Jake was upstairs in the bathroom and Joey was out in the garden area. Uh-huh. And I'm just standing waiting for them by the carriage. And all he was, <laughs> and they're going around camera because I was filming a cinematic. Clear oh wow! Yeah. yeah, clear as day. I don't know which door it was. I didn't see it, but you can hear it. I wish we could sleep here tonight. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> have you guys ever slept here? I haven't. No, no? I've been here till three thirty, but I've never slept here. Never slept here. And what's it gonna take to let you guys let me sleep here? <laughs> <laughs> How much money? A billion dollars. <laughs> I would actually do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, fam. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and start letting you go and concluding this video. I want to give a special shout out to everybody involved in letting us be here uh, my boy joey official and of course jake and susan for allowing us to be here and giving us their time uh big shout out to my friend mo for bringing us here too we drove um gosh it was a long drive how long was it like eight hours eight or seven hours, hours? Yeah, hours plus you guys have to come pick me up that that's right i mean we spent a lot of time <laughs> got stuck in some california old school traffic i mean it was it was bad so uh shout out to everybody here i'm going to leave links down below be sure to show them some love and if you do visit the winchester mystery house be sure to mention my name mo's name joey's name ask for susan or jake they'll take really good care of you let them know that we sent you guys here okay promo code omar promo code mo for zero percent entry (laughs) (laughs) wait i'm really curious how much does a tour cost it's thirty thirty nine dollars for a regular tour. That's that's not bad. How long do those? Sixty five minutes. Oh wow! And then there's an add on for fifteen. That's an additional seventy, and that's what goes into these rooms. Ooh, so we basement. we gave you some exclusive content here. How cool is that? So yeah, I man. As for these guys, they have some personal stories here that are quite awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already, and if you enjoyed this uncut video. Be sure to check out the other uncut videos that I did. I mean, I've done a couple of them. I only did another one here. I was planning on doing three, but we did two, and we we captured a lot. It was fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, again. And thank you for watching. Support my homies here. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.